What is Profinet and how does it differ from Profibus? Well, put simply, Profinet can be considered as the natural evolution from an automation network based on field-based technology to one based on industrial ethernet. It's supported by the same organisation that supports Profibus and at the end of 2013, 7.6 million devices have been installed and that number continues to grow. Many of you are going to be used to using Fieldbus technologies and Ethernet side by side. Profinet simply merges the two together with obvious benefits. And this has been achieved by basing it on established, well-proven Ethernet technology, but with the added robustness demanded for use in an industrial automation environment. Going into a little more detail, there are several differences between the two technologies that are worth knowing. First of all, Profinet is not a multi-drop network like Profibus, but it uses four core twisted pair screen cable to connect one device to another using switches. And a real plus point with Profinet is that segment termination to prevent reflections is no longer an issue as the resistors are already installed in each device. Secondly, Profinet is not a master-slave protocol like Profibus, but uses full duplex communication at 100 megabits per second. And this means that devices can read and write at the same time. And finally, although Profinet makes use of existing IT standards, it's got the added benefit of being a real-time deterministic protocol. And this basically means that it's capable of achieving guaranteed cycle times. An important point to know is that there are in fact two implementations of Profinet that can work side by side. The first, the most common, is called Profinet RT. And this is suitable for the most common automation applications where cycle times of 10 milliseconds are more than acceptable. The second, called Profinet IRT, where the I stands for isochronous, is used in high-speed applications such as multi-axis drives, where cycle times as low as 31.25 microseconds can be achieved. A common misconception is that many people describe Profinet as Profibus over Ethernet, which is not the case, although there are many similarities and many of the features of Profibus have been retained and enhanced. Those of you used to developing and supporting Profibus systems will feel quite comfortable with the new technology. Although Profinet specific training is recommended and a certified Profinet engineers course with worldwide recognition is now available. And really finally, and most importantly, Profinet doesn't make your existing Profibus installation redundant. It's going to be a lot, Profibus is going to be around for a long time and continue to play an important role in industrial automation. But a gradual migration over to Profinet is going to allow you to benefit from the features that are only available using this 21st century technology.